Hello and welcome. Today we're gonna to be talking about some of my favorite easy light lipsticks for the summer. So what I did was I went through and for each of the categories here today, I picked my favorite lipstick formula and then I have swatches of all of the shades that I have in that formula. So we've got arm swatches and lip swatches. So let's go ahead and get started. So today we're looking at easy light lipstick looks for the summer, but if you're interested in seeing some more bright, more powerful shades, let me know and perhaps we can do something with those types of shades as well. But let's start off with my matte pick and these are the Viola FR Bisou Bombs. And I really like these. This is what I have on my lips right now. I have a mix of the shade Guimauve, which is this here, which is, you can see it's kind of like a brighter peach. So I have a mix of this and then the nude shade, uh, which I believe is called Carlison, Calison. And this one is probably my most used, Calison. You can see that this formula here is gonna be very lightweight on the lips and it's going to give you a matte finish. It's going to provide kind of that matte blurred finish. Next, we have Batiste, and this one here is going to be a bit more of a more of a deep rose. I wouldn't call it like a super pink rose. It's got a little bit more depth to it. And then we have Suzette, which is going to be a much brighter, more of a like fuchsia pink. Look at that. So these are all just really beautiful subdued shades that are great easy to apply and you can build them up. You can see one sheer swatch versus building it up. You can get a bit more color, but these will always give you kind of that matte blurred lip look. So let's take a look at the lip swatches. The Violette FR Bisou Bombs, there are five shades. So I have all five of the shades. These are sold directly on the Violette FR website. So that's where I purchased mine. And they're a retail for 28 US dollars, but they have some sets available on the website that you can like select your items and you can get a little bit of a cheaper price that way. So just something to know if you're interested in making a purchase, I would definitely take a look at the sets they have. So we have two and a half grams of product. It's made in Italy and we have a two year shelf life. And I really like these. Some of the shades, they sell out pretty quickly. So they've been restocking, but just know like Calison, it took me a while to get that one because it just kept, kept selling out. So what I like about these is just that they are very lightweight on the lips. They have kind of that light powdery feel. So if you have dry lips, you might not like the way that this feels without a balm underneath. My lips, they're not particularly dry most of the time. So, uh, you know, I'm totally cool with the way that it feels on my lips as is. You can also top these with a gloss if you want a bit of a sheen to them. According to Viola FR, the Bizu Balm is a bit like your makeup best friend. It's an everyday lip look that's here to support you no matter what, whether you're wearing a strong smoky eye or going barefaced. It's also pretty much impossible to mess up. That's definitely a plus for me. <laughs> Feel free to apply it in the bathroom, a store window, or in the back of a New York taxi. You'll emerge looking super fresh no matter what. It's that easy. And that's what I love about these. So when I go for a matte lip look during the summer, this is what I reach for. I love these light, easy to apply products. I love that blurred lip look that looks pretty effortless. And it's great for those no makeup makeup days as well. So out of all of these shades, I have to say my favorite is actually probably Suzette, but I do wear Calison the most because it's just such an easy everyday neutral. So I really love all of these shades. So one more time from the top, we have Guimauve, Calison, Batiste, Suzette, Amorpho. And it's really hard to pick a favorite, and that's why I ended up buying all five. Let's move on to my next product. Next, we have a tinted lip balm. These are the Guerlain Kiss Kiss. Uh, these are the Bee Glow lip balms. So this will give you more of a glossy finish. We're gonna start off in numeric order. This one here is 129 Blossom Glow. And you can see that you get one sheer light layer. You can build it up for a little bit of color, but these are still gonna remain fairly light. There are some deeper shades. So this one here, 129 Blossom Glow, 
is technically limited edition. They did just recently restock it, but it is it can be hard to find. Next, we have 258 Rose Glow, and this one is your pH adaptive shade. So it's going to start off pretty clear with a little bit of light pink, but it will get a bit brighter. And we'll see that as we move on to the swatches. 309 Honey Glow. This is one of my most used. It is just like a really nice, light, you know, everyday brighter peach by brighter I mean it's not too orange it has a little bit more of that brightness to it even though it's a very light soft shade 319 peach glow is going to have a bit more of that like orangey vibe there and you can see they all look pretty light on the arms you'll be able to see the shades a little bit deeper on the lips next we have 409 fuchsia glow i'm not sure if this shade is going to be sticking around so if you're interested in this one i would pick this one up soon because they did release the lip oils in all of the shades except this one and they've replaced it with our next shade here 458 pop rose glow which is the new one for summer and i feel like this is actually going to be a replacement for fuchsia glow but i really love fuchsia glow because you can see it's going to be a brighter cooler pink whereas the uh, rose pop or pop rose glow is going to be a little bit warmer and then this is 775 poppy glow and this is a very soft beautiful red and i recommend this for people who want a red lip look but they don't like the maintenance or maybe they're afraid of the impactful shade so this is just such a great easy red to start with and then last up, this is my most used. This is 809 Lavender Glow, and I have refilled this, or well, purchased <laughs> additional shades. So this is my favorite. I keep this one in my handbag, and it's just fantastic. Let's take a look at the lip swatches. So the Guerlain B Glow lip balms have 3.2 grams of product. They're made in France, and there is no estimated shelf life uh, printed on here. They retail for 40 US dollars, and they are my favorite uh, tinted lip balms since they came out a few years ago. I absolutely love these. Now they do have a honey fragrance, kind of like a honey floral fragrance. So just note that that is there. If you are familiar with the Guerlain lip oils, it's a very similar fragrance, but it's a little bit, for me at least, it's a little bit, a little more subdued than that of the lip oils where I can feel the honey or I can smell the honey more intensely in the lip oils than the balms. Now, according to Guerlain, it's a creamy tinted lip balm infused with honey and 98% natural origin ingredients that revives the natural color of the lips with a glowing finish and 24 hour hydration. I do find these hydrating and very comfortable to wear. I love how I can build up the color a little bit, but it's always gonna be soft and subdued. It gives me some shine to my lips, yet it's not, it, it's still gonna be on the more subtle side, side. We're not looking at something with, you know, incredible shine to it. So I find it to just be a great everyday, comfortable lip balm. Now, also from Guerlain, it says the caring formula helps to soothe, soften, nourish, and plump the appearance of the lips day after day. The formula's incredible melting texture glides onto the lips for a long lasting and comfortable finish. Now, I would have to say that for me, wear time on these are about three to four hours, and then I like to reapply. I find them very comfortable, and I always have one of these in my handbag at all times, typically the Lavender Glow, and then also sometimes the Honey Glow. Those are definitely my two most used, but I really love the Poppy as well. That is one that I also use a lot. So let's go through the shades one more time. We have 129 Blossom Kiss or Blossom Glow. And then we have the Rose Glow, Honey Glow, Peach Glow, Fuchsia Glow, Pop Rose Glow. This is the Poppy Glow and the Lavender Glow. So I'd love to know which one your favorite is. It's just so hard to choose. Next, let's take a look at our lip gloss formulas. And I want to include the new Armani lip glosses. Now these... When I first started using them, um, you know, my lips were in great condition and I didn't notice any tingling or anything like that. But as I did start to use these, particularly in the lip swatches after my lips have been exfoliated a ton, uh, then I did notice that there is kind of a tingling numbing sensation. 
So it is going to give you kind of that lip plumping vibe. There's no real like cinnamon or uh, mint though in this formula. So I'm not sure exactly what it is. This first shade here is number four. And some of these shades do have some shimmer to them. You can see that in the tube, it looks like this one here, number five, has a little bit, but it's not really all that evident on the lips. But I know that some of them do have a bit more sparkle. So just something to note there. This is number five, which is our berry shade. Now let's take a look at the lip swatches. So these are called the Armani Prisma Glass Hydrating Lip Gloss with Squalene and they retail for 38 US dollars. And according to Armani, these are a high shine hydrating lip gloss that reflects light, creating fuller looking pillowy soft lips while locking in hydration for up to 24 hours without a sticky feeling. And I have to say, I really feel that there is no stickiness to this. They go on smoothly, they feel comfortable. They, I really love the texture of them on the lips. I mean, they, definitely feel like they're adding a little hydration, very comfortable, not sticky at all. And I think that's the best feature about these. Now we have 3.5 milliliters of product and a two year shelf life. These are made in France. So right now they have five shades in the lineup and I picked up again, shade number four, Cherry Glaze, which is described as a sheer poppy red and number five, Berry Beam, which is a raspberry pink with a little bit of shimmer. But again, you just really can't see much of the shimmer in here. And I think these are great either worn on their own or topping another lip product. So this is one of my picks for lip gloss, but I have another one. Also for lip gloss, I had to go with the Jimmy Choo lip glosses. So these are incredible. If you're looking for a long wearing lip gloss, this is it. So I originally picked up one of these when they first launched and I've since added a ton of shades to my collection. So we're gonna take a look at all of those on the lips, but first let's start off with the arm swatches. This one here is 03 Pastel Pink. And you can see it's gonna be a very sheer light pink. And this one does have a little bit of golden shimmer in it. And it's just such a beautiful shade. This formula is gonna be a bit thicker than the Armani. So it's gonna be a bit of a different texture. This is for Fuchsia Glow. And you can see it's gonna be a brighter pop of pink here. Great for summer, really love this shade. And we do have, you know, it's a cool pink, but it's close to neutral on the spectrum still. So it's not overly cool. This is the one that I picked up first and I still wear this all the time. This is still my favorite. It's number five, Rose Blush. And this is your great, you know, kind of like your ro rosy nude kind of shade. A little bit more rose than nude, but it's, to me, it's always what I've considered my MLBB shade, my lips but better shade. So then we have seven, Vivid Violet. This is not violet to me at all. It's definitely more of a brown shade with a touch of violet in there but you can see it really has more of kind of like a more of a i wouldn't even say cocoa it's a, got a little bit more red in it than cocoa but i don't really consider it violet and then we have number eight nude kiss and this one has a little bit of shimmer in it as well and we can see that this is really going to be more of what i would consider like more of a slightly orange or nutmeg so they call it nude kiss, but it's kind of like a new, a peachy nude kind of shade. Number nine is orange kiss. And again, this is not, it's not super orange. It's more of a, it's more of a red with an orange base to it. So you can definitely see some orange in there, but it's not a true orange lip gloss in my opinion. And number 10, we have ruby red and it's just a really beautiful deep rich red this one is going to be a cool toned red think of your ruby slippers so let's take a look at the lip swatches the jimmy Choo lip glosses are made in italy with a two-year shelf life and we have five and a half milliliters of product 
and they retail for 62 US dollars. You can purchase these directly from the Jimmy Choo website here in the US or at a variety of retailers like Neiman Marcus. So I've been picking them up from different places over the last, I don't even know how long it's been, year or two years since they've come out. But I have to say, I really love this formula. It goes on, it's a little bit of a thicker gloss, but it's not sticky. It feels like if you've ever used um, something like the Revision Lip Balm, where it just feels like it's locking everything in, it has a little bit of that. It's definitely not as strong as as something like that but it has a little bit of that texture in the gloss and i think that's what makes it last so well i can put this gloss on and then eight hours later it will still be there obviously not as strongly as it was before but it's not like it's just leaving a stain i still have remnants of the gloss and the texture on my lips and i think that's what's so incredible about this i've never i've never had a long lasting lip gloss like not an actual gloss unless you're thinking of something like the Chanel Ultra 10 U Duos, which are a little bit different. So, I mean, this is just incredible in my opinion. According to Jimmy Choo, these are a plumping formula with a glossy finish. They have long lasting wear and they're lightly fragranced with tempting rose. They go on to say our plumping formula enhances the natural volume of your lips for an effortlessly seductive look. Our distinct gloss provides an easy glide application for a non-sticky feel and long lasting wear while maintaining a lustrous shine. Lightly fragranced with tempting rose, our seductive glosses are housed in a crystal shaped case topped with a glitter gold cap. An exquisite design perfectly complementing our existing JC Beauty collection. And I have to say, these are incredible. I, you know, I could not mention a favorite lip gloss without talking about these. They, I've, again, I've just never had such a long wearing lip gloss and they have such a great shade range here. So one more time, let's look at all of these glosses here. So from Armani, we have shade number four and shade number five. And then moving on to the Jimmy Choo, we have three, four, five, seven. This is gonna be eight, nine, and 10. So I've got quite a few of the colors. And let's move on to our next product. And then next up, we have our SPF lip product. And I've already talked about these just recently. These are the new Tatcha, the Kisu lip tints. And these have SPF 25. And I have to say, I just, I really like this formula. The biggest reason I really like these is not only are they comfortable on the lips, but there is no fragrance or taste. So that's just so rare to find in an SPF product for the lips. This shade here is Plum Blossom and it's really more of a peach. So I believe they call it like a, a soft warm rose or something, but it's peach. It's not rose. This shade here is called Camellia and it's a really pretty, this is more of your warm rose. And I think it's, it's a really pretty shade. Now, my favorite though is this one here, Midnight Lily. And it has, you know, kind of that brownish purple hue to it. So these are the three shades. We have Plum Blossom, Camellia, and Midnight Lily. Let's take a look at the lip swatches. So the Tatcha lip tints retail for 34 US dollars. And we have four grams of product. And again, they have SPF 25 and they are made in Japan. Now, according to Tatcha, these are a creamy, hydrating SPF 25 lip sunscreen in buildable shades. Silk protein and botanical lanolin moisturize and soften as UV filters prevent visible effects of photo aging. It's described as non-sticky, non-drying formula. And I have to say, I find these to be really comfortable, smooth on the lips. They feel like a lightweight lip balm. And, you know, I personally just really love them and having that extra SPF protection. So again, my favorite is the Midnight Lily, which, you know, it's a little bit of a reddish brown with a tint of purple, kind of similar to the uh, violet shade from the Jimmy Choo gloss. So let me just show you the Jimmy Choo gloss. This is number seven, Vivid Violet. So let's just see how those compare to the Midnight Lily. You can see that they are a kind of a similar shade. The uh, actual Tatcha one, you know, is perhaps, perhaps is a little bit warmer. 
and but you can see when you share this out you really get a pretty similar shade so for spf protection that is definitely my number one recommendation for the lips then we have one more category to look at now another go-to formula for me during the summer are lip crayons in particular i love the sisley Fido lip twists i can't wait to try their new tinted lip balms so stay tuned i will have a video on those soon and i love these they come in your satin and your matte finishes. You can't really tell the shape of this one at the moment because I've used that one so much, but this is what a new one looks like. If you are getting the satin formula, you can see it's kind of like your pencil shape. And then if you're going with the matte formula, you have something like this to make it a little bit easier to apply. So let's take a look at the arm swatches. First up is number one. This is one of my most used shades. This is your nude shade. And this one has some sparkles, some shimmer in there. You can see it's a very soft nude. There is a touch of rosiness to it, but it is going to be kind of like a, a soft brown with a little bit of rose. Number two is going to be a brighter pink here. And it's a pretty neutral pink. And there's a tiny bit of shimmer in this one as well. Number eight also is some shimmer here. This is going to be more of a coral shade. And you can see we've got a little bit of orange, a little bit of pink. It's really beautiful. You can see all three of these shades so far are pretty perfect for the summer. Then 15, you can see this one here shorter than the others. This was one of the gift with purchases that I received from Sicily before. And you can see I smacked it with when I was putting the cap on. Um, but this is going to be one of their best sellers, number 15. I believe it's called Nut. This one does not have shimmer and you can see this one is more of your brick shade. You've got a little bit of brown. You've got a little bit of like orange in there as well. And then we go on to another one of my most used. This is 24. So one in 24, the two that I use the most. This is kind of your soft, rosy, my lips put better kind of shade. So it's a rosy nude. You can see we definitely have a bit more pigment. This is shade number one. This one does not have shimmer and it's definitely gonna be rosier here is 25 which is going to be kind of a soft berry shade again this one does not have shimmer and then we have 26 which is a really nice soft red so this is another red that i think is easy to start off wearing if you want something lighter go with the Guerlain lip balm but if you want something a little bit brighter but you're still not ready for a full-on red lipstick Shade 26 in the lip twist is awesome. And then we have a couple of the mattes. So I have number 18, which is a classic red. And this one is basically gonna be more like lipstick intensity. You can see this is going to be a neutral leaning cool red. So if you were to share this out, you will see a little bit of that blue base to it. So it does have a cool base. When you build it up, it looks a bit more neutral. And then we have 19, which is a soft warm pink. And this is matte as well. So these mattes, they have a little bit of a satin matte finish to them. You can see they're not like a dry looking matte, but they definitely don't have the sheen of the satins. Let's take a look at the lip swatches. The Sicily Fido Lip Twist retail for 60 US dollars. So de they're definitely going to be a luxury lip crayon, but I find them to be very comfortable on the lips. They have more of that lip balm kind of texture and you can go from very sheer shades to those with more pigment. They're also really easy to apply. Now, as the name implies, you do twist up to get more product. You can twist these back down, um, but there is, I've never received like an included sharpener with these. So just something to note there. Now, according to Sicily, the Fido Lip Twist is a tinted balm colored like a lipstick and shiny like a gloss. It is applied with a single twist and leaves the lips supple, moisturized, visibly smoothed and plumped thanks to its cocktail of original plant-based key ingredients. Its ultra sensory smooth glide on texture reinvents lipstick. It's luminous, easy to wear shades match any occasion from virtual nude to intense color. Fun and practical, this new XXL pencil does not need a sharpener. And it's not really new anymore, but um, you know, they have been one of my favorites for years. Now, the Fido Lip Twist mattes have a matte finish versus the satin finish, and it says that applied with a single twist, it leaves the lips supple, soft, and more shapely due to a blend of plant-based ingredients. It's soft as velvet texture provides optimal adhesion. 
The bevel tip allows for ultra precise, even and easy application. Its shades are irresistible. Now a full size for these lip twists is two and a half grams and they are made in Italy. And if you are looking at the gift with purchase size, they actually give you a full gram, which is pretty good. Those last quite a while. So overall, I think this is great. It's been one of my favorite lip products for many years now. So I hope this has been helpful. Let's take a look at the shades that I have one more time. So we have one, two, eight, 15, 24, 25, 26, 18, and 19. 18 and 19 are the mattes, and these are all satin. And these here, one, two, and eight, all have shimmer. 15, I mean, sorry, 20, 15, 24, 25, and 26 do not have shimmer. So overall, I have to say, definitely a great product. So I hope this has been helpful. Those are definitely some of my all time favorite summer lip products. I love them for the ease of use, the comfort on the lips, the light sheer colors that you can easily apply anywhere at any time. So let me know if you're interested in seeing some bright, fun, bold colors for summer, because I definitely have some great choices for that as well. So I hope this has been helpful and I would love to know what your favorite go-to summer lip products are down below in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a wonderful day.